I said yesterday he's like a, a young Ivan Drago, and when you see him throw punches, feels to me like a young Vladimir Klitschko. Right. And these are super heavies, yeah? Supers. The super dupers, the big men. No weight limit on okay, these. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is bat number 65, which is a super heavyweight final scheduled for three rounds of three minutes and introducing your boxers. Firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the old red and representing Germany. Give it up for Nikita Putinov. And across the ring is opponent boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the all blue, representing Norway. Give it up for Omar Shia. Your referee at the bell, representing England, Mr. Tony Boff. Yeah, the bigger they are, the harder they punch. These are the super heavyweights to qualify. You've got to be 92 kilos plus. That's about 14 and a half stone, but there is no ceiling limit. And they are weighing 92 kilos. They're, they're above 100, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, I think so. Round I on. think so. So Putilov of Germany is in the red on the left of your screen, and Omar Shia of Norway is in oh, the blue. Good start from the German already. Well, I mentioned Klitschko. You're going to see what I mean. He holds his lead left hand out in much the oh, same way and he throws shot. punches of incredible force. Very sharp red corner. Yeah, what was it they used to call Vladimir Klitschko? Dr. Steelhammer. I think we'll need to come up with a nickname for this fella. So Putilov against Omar Shia for the super heavyweight gold here at the GB Open. Putilov won the gold on home soil in the Cologne Open in the World Boxing Cup last November. Shear actually boxed Delicious Ori of Great Britain in the last 16 of the European Games. Delicious went on to win the gold at that event. That's why he's qualified for the Olympics, but he's no longer here, having lost his opener. And it leaves these two to box off for the gold. It would have been an all-German final had Shear not beaten Nelvitier back, but he shipped some leather and he's wobbled there. He's wobbled quite badly and he's down. Such force from the German right on top of the temple it's an amazing right. blow and the referee has called a stop to the contest and that did not last long Nikita Putilov gets the win inside a minute 15 wow what a, what a big guy what a powerful man do you see the comparison that I was drawing Vladimir Klitschko that was right on top of the temple right on top that. of us I was yeah. worried that the ring was going <laughs> to give way Powerful shots, and Nikita Putilov, no wonder he's smiling. He's the first boxer to double down with gold in Cologne, and he's doubled it up with gold here in the steel city of Sheffield. All smiles from the German camp over in that red corner. That man there is going to take some stopping. Has this guy already qualified for the Olympic Paris? Not yet, I don't think. Won't be long. No. Well, that was impressive. Let's have a look. So we'll Talk us through this, Luke. Come on. I think it was a it was a right hook. There you go. Completely wobbled him. Equilibrium and then gone. Hit him again. For the right hook, that first one shot. But the power of the right hook, and then the accuracy to follow it up with two more shots as he's on the way down. That is high skill. Yeah, just just to land that that shot. You got to have great timing to land that shot as well as power. Yeah, you know the other thing I think he looks so clean cut. I want to see it again. A marketeer's dream. It's the right hook we're looking out for. Bang. Right on top of the temple. Legs is followed it up with a second scrambled. one. He's n not recovering from he that. He had nowhere to go. Absolutely no way to go. And a good round of applause from the crowd here in Sheffield for Omar Shia, who's back on his feet. And Shia was so the guy that beat a couple of good guys on the way to the final. 65. He did. Your winner by a knockout and your new World Boxing Cup GB Open Super Heavyweight Champion boxing out of the red corner is Nikita Putinov. I remember the first time I saw the big for both Super Heavyweight boxers. Gold at Thank Tokyo. You. And the first time I saw him, you go, future. He won the Olympic gold. He's gone on to a pro career. He's, I think, 15-0, 15 KOs. Most of them don't last longer than a round. 
and I look at Nikita Putalov against other fellow enormous men and you go, he is a point of difference. I'd like to certainly watch his journey there, see him against so, some other competition, see what he's got, but well, it looks fearsome there. Absolutely look fearsome. Winning by a stoppage inside a minute and 15 seconds at any level of boxing is impressive. To do it in an international tournament against an international caliber opponent well, is caught, supreme. He caught my eye in the first five seconds. And now he's dancing as he walks.